So one of the first things you want to test when you're possibly having a flow meter issue is that if you notice on the screen here, when I run it, my system's running, but if I turn this to the target rate, it's going to say no flow. Yet we know the system's running. We got liquid coming out, but this says no flow. So one of the first things obviously we're going to check is definitely our wire connections for the flow meter itself. So we're going to follow it all the way down to the flow meter. Okay. So I'm going to come down to my flow meter and if, and once I check and I make sure that all my connections are good, everything's connected, everything looks good. I've taken these apart and I've looked inside, nothing's corroded, nothing has debris in there or whatnot, everything, if all the connections look good, then the next thing I want to do is make sure that I have 12 volts on the line. So when you look at the harness colors, and if you look in our documentation, we do have the wiring diagrams, but black is ground, of course, pretty common. Red is power, and then the colored wire, anything other than red and black is gonna be your signal. So in this case, it's gonna be blue. So the first thing we're gonna check is to make sure that we have voltage going to the flow meter itself. So no matter what kind of system you're connected to, we, we first wanna check voltage. So the first thing we're gonna do is check our black and our red. I'm gonna turn my voltmeter on. And then I'm gonna connect it here to red, goes to the power, 12 volts. And then I'm gonna have my black go to my ground. And there we have 12.3 volts. So once we've validated that we're getting 12 volts from the harness, that means it's going all the way back to the controller and getting 12 volts. The next thing that we wanna check is what we call a tap test. And what we're gonna do is we wanna tap the ground wire, the black wire with the blue wire. You can strip a wire and stick the ends in there or get a paper clip or some kind of metal uh, clip here and you're gonna stick it in the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap it like this. You don't, if you just keep it there, it won't do anything because you're not creating any kind of connection there. So you wanna tap it just like this. So as I tap it, we're gonna have, some, you're gonna need two people for this, one to tap it and another person in the cab looking at the controller. So you'll see here, but remember, you, you wanna tap it back and forth like this. If you just leave it here, it's not gonna give you anything. So you wanna tap the, the, the blue and the black. And if we go back to the controller, what I'm gonna do is that you, you want to set it to volume slash minute. And you see how that's moving? If I stop tapping, it's going to be either gallons per minute or volume per minute. We want to be able to detect this so that when we tap the, gr the ground and the signal, it's going to send it back to the controller and it's going to move. So watch this again. I'm tapping it. If I just hold it in there, nothing happens. So you have to tap it. That's why we call it a tap test. Once you tap it like this, then we know we're getting a signal all the way back. So the next step is once we see that we're getting the signal all the way back, then we definitely know that it's going to be somewhere from here to the flow meter. And if we've already checked all the connections on the flow meter, so if we've taken this apart and all our connections look really good, nothing's damaged, then we know it's probably going to be a bad flow meter. Um, once we check that, so let me give you an example here. If I were to, if I were to disconnect my harness, just for the sake of this test, I'm going to disconnect my harness that goes out to my flow meter. And if I go back here to my flow meter and I do my tap test, so I go from my ground and I tap the blue. I'm tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. You see how nothing's happening? If nothing's happening, then we know we got to follow uh, the harness all the way back. Now, remember, I disconnected the harness that comes into here, so we know we, don't, we have a, a simulated back connection. So then, in that case, we know for sure that the problem is further back. Now, there could be a bad connection, there could be a, a corrosion on the wire, and that's why, that's why the first thing you want to check, if you're seeing no flow, is you want to make sure that all your connections from your controller, whether it's a Green Star, Trimble, Ag Leader, all the connections all the way back are clean, they're tight, they're not loose, there's no pins 
that are pushed in, pins that are pulled out, everything's connected nice and clean. Once you've validated that, that's when we go back and check the voltage on the line, and then uh, we'll check the tap test. Once you check all the connections and they're good and you do a volt test and there's no voltage on the line, then we know you, down back through the line, you're gonna have to start tearing apart connections, looking for pins in our wiring diagram and check the pinouts to make sure uh, that it's not a pin that may be a wire that's broke within the harness. So there could be maybe down when you did a, when you folded your implement, you might've pinched the wire right here. And that's why we'll start going from this connection and where this connects to the 10 pin, we'll check the voltage uh, based off the wiring diagram to see where the voltage starts because there could be a pinched or broken wire in here as well.